New Zealand has made it very clear from the outset that New Zealanders should not travel to Syria. Further, it is clear that it is unlawful to join and fight with a terrorist organisation as Mark Taylor has done. His actions in joining ISIS and travelling to Syria to fight for them has created the potential for legal ramifications in New Zealand. As with any New Zealand citizen overseas, if they wish to return to New Zealand, then a journey-specific emergency travel document can be issued under Section 23 of the Passports Act 1992. However, New Zealand does not have diplomatic representation in Syria, and the ability of the government to assist New Zealand citizens is severely limited. That is why we made it very clear from the outset no New Zealander should travel to Syria. We have consistently told Mark Taylor that we cannot help him obtain a travel document. He would need to make his own way to a country where New Zealand has consular representation, something that in his current situation will be difficult to do. All New Zealand citizens have rights under international and domestic law. Mr Taylor only holds New Zealand citizenship, and the government has an obligation not to make people stateless. While I cannot comment on the specifics of this case, I can assure you that we have long had plans in place in the event that a New Zealand citizen supporting ISIS in Syria were to return. It would involve a comprehensive response and management plan for any individual. The safety of New Zealand and New Zealanders is our priority. Contingency planning has been underway for some time involving the New Zealand police and other agencies. I am confident we have the means to keep New Zealanders safe in this case. I read it again. While I cannot talk about the specifics of this case, I am confident we have the means to keep New Zealanders safe. Bringing terrorists to justice is something the government takes extremely seriously. As I've said before, any New Zealander suspected of association with terrorist groups should expect to be investigated under New Zealand law should they return. The police have powers under a number of acts and I am assured they will utilise them.